learning objectives at the end of this module you will be able to know the meaning of small business understand how small business plays an important role in india study what problems small businesses are facing in india know what kind of assistance government is providing to promote small businesses meaning and nature of small business industries like handlooms handicrafts coir sericulture khadi and village industries small scale industries and power looms come under village and small industry sector in the country the last two of these are modern small industries these business are biggest employers in the country the size small of a business can be measured based on persons employed capital invested volume or value of output and the power utilized in india small industries are measured based on the capital invested it also includes the many service related business that are growing in the country a single framework addressing the concerns of small business is taken care of by the micro small and medium enterprise development act msmed act it handles issues such as definition credit marketing technology required etc as per the act there are two categories of enterprises manufacturing and services manufacturing the act defines three types of manufacturing enterprises one micro enterprise capital investment not more than 25 lakh rupees 2 small enterprise capital investment more than 25 lakh but less than 5 crore rupees 3 medium enterprise capital investment more than 5 crore but less than 10 crore rupees services 1 micro enterprise capital investment not more than 10 lakh rupees 2 small enterprise capital investment more than 10 lakh but less than 2 crore rupees medium enterprise capital investment more than 2 crore but less than 5 crore rupees village industries these are enterprises engaged in producing goods or services in rural areas without the usage of power and fixed capital is determined by the central government cottage industries these are industries that are organized by individuals with their own resources involves family labor and local talent use simple equipment capital invested is small produce is simple and technology used is indigenous administrative setup for the small scale agro and rural industries the micro small and medium enterprises ministry is the nodal ministry for policy formulation and providing development assistance to small scale industries ssi in the country the small industries development organization sido is the implementing agency of these policies the national small industries corporation nsic under the ministry provides marketing support to these enterprises in both rural and urban areas the nodal agency for village and khadi industries tiny and micro enterprises is the ministry of agro and rural industries the programs and schemes of the ministry are implemented by the khadi and village industries commission kvic handicrafts board coir board silk board etc apart from these the state governments undertake various initiatives for the development of ssis they are implemented through state directorate of industries which has district industry centers dics under it role of small business in india ssis account for 95% of industrial unit in india 
and contributes 40% of gross industrial value and 45% of exports. They are the second largest employer in the country and generate more employment than large industries on per unit of capital invested. They produce a large variety of goods ranging from consumables to pharmaceuticals. Handlooms and handicrafts produced are of high export value. They provide for a balanced regional development in the country as they are easy to set up and uses locally available resources. They enable regional industrialization, generates immense entrepreneurial opportunities. The cost of production is low and gives them a competitive edge. SSIs being small in size enable the owners to take quick decisions and help them grab opportunities. Production in an SSI can be customizable as per the needs and wants of consumers. They adapt easily and can maintain personal rapport with customers and employees. Role of Small Business in Rural India Traditionally, rural households participated only in agricultural activities for their livelihood which provided mere incomes and persistent poverty. But the government, through its policy initiatives, like pushing agro-based industries in rural areas, has helped in increasing the incomes of rural people. They undertook wage employment, self-employment in commerce, manufacturing and services, along with participation in farming and agriculture labor. Since the second five-year plan, Indian industrial strategy laid emphasis on village and cottage industries. They are playing important role in generating employment in rural areas, especially for artisans and weaker sections of the society. Also, it helps in preventing migration of people from rural to urban areas for seeking employment. Significant amount of consumer goods are produced by these village and small industries. Also, they absorb lot of labor, in turn addressing the issues of unemployment, poverty, socio-economic inequalities in rural areas of the country. These small industries also help in spreading industrialization and linking rural economy to other sectors of the economy. The government too has taken up rural industrialization in a big way as a means to achieve increased industrialization and generating more productive employment in rural areas. But there are some problems that are hampering the potential of small industries in rural areas. Problems of Small Business The problems faced by small businesses are manifold. They include issues involving finance, the scale of operations, procuring raw materials, etc. The common problems are Finance They face inadequate finance. Starting from a small initial capital, they lack creditworthiness and cannot access capital markets or banks. They often get the financial support from local money lenders and fall into debt trap. Also, delayed payments lock their capital. Raw Materials Quality raw materials are available at high prices. Procuring them is a difficult task for SSIs. Their poor bargaining power, owing to small size, lack of storage facilities, scare raw material, etc. curtail their growth. Managerial skills. Being small-sized and operated by single owners, SSIs lack managerial skills. Also, they can't afford to hire professionals. Labor. SSI's capacity to pay high wages is limited. This leads to unproductive employees with a high turnover rate. Thus, attracting talent too is a problem. Marketing. Small organizations cannot invest in marketing and lack the opportunity to generate more revenue. Quality. Often the quality of the product is poor due to lack of expertise. No investment in research and unable to maintain industry standards. 
Capacity Utilization The shortcomings in lack of marketing skills and low demand, they cannot operate to the firm's full capacity. Technology Outdated technology is used that reduces productivity. Sickness This is rampant among SSIs. It is due to internal reasons like talent, marketing, technology, etc. and external reasons like unavailability of capital, delayed payments, etc. Global competition Opening up of the market for foreign companies to set plants in the country is threatening SSIs. This leads to competition from multinational companies, unable to maintain quality standards, creditworthiness and accessing developed countries require quality certificates. Government Assistance to Small Industries and Small Industrial Units 1. Governments at both the central and state levels are providing impetus to the small industries and small industrial units through various schemes and agencies. The support is in the form of providing finance, building infrastructure, giving training, making raw materials available, etc. Some of assistance measures taken by the government are Institutional Support 1. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABARD It was set up in 1982. It provides credit and non-credit support to agricultural activities, small industries, village and cottage industries. Apart from this, it provides counselling and consultancy services for rural entrepreneurs. 2. The Rural Small Business Development Centre, RSBDC. Sponsored by NABAD, it is an association for small and medium enterprises. It aims to benefit socially and economically weaker sections by providing technical and management support. It has so far organized many skill upgradation programs, training classes for rural unemployed youth and women. 3. National Small Industries Corporation, NSIC. It was set up in 1955. It helps small industries by supplying local and imported machines, export of products, assistance through mentoring, generating awareness on latest technologies, etc. Some schemes of NSIC Performance and Credit Rating To sensitize SSIs about credit rating and encouraging them to have a favorable financial track record, Marketing Assistance Scheme This is a scheme of Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and is being implemented by NSIC. It looks to augment marketing capabilities, providing information about market situations, enabling to form MSME consortia to make their products, etc. Marketing support to MSMEs. It involves organizing and participation in international and domestic exhibitions co-sponsoring exhibitions organized by other associations or organizations, conducting buyer-seller meets, etc. 4. Small Industries Development Bank, SIDBI. It is an organization set up to meet the credit needs of small business. The assistance is provided directly or indirectly under various schemes. Government Assistance to Small Industries and Small Industrial Units 2. The National Commission for Enterprises in the Unorganized Sector, NCEUS. Formed in 2004, NCEUS recommends measures to improve productivity of small industries, aims to generate more employment in rural areas, improve competitiveness, develop linkages across sectors in areas like credit, technology upgradation, etc. Rural and Women Entrepreneurship Development, RWED. It promotes and supports women and rural entrepreneurs by creating an environment that spurs women and rural entrepreneurship, fostering entrepreneurial dynamism, training manual for women and advisory services. World Association for Small and Medium Enterprises, 
W A S M E. This international organization aims for growth of rural enterprises that are sustained for a long time. Scheme of funds for regeneration of traditional industries S F U R T I. It was set up in 2005 with a fund of rupees 100 crore. It aims for more productivity and competitiveness in traditional industries. S F U R T I does this by establishing clusters of traditional industries, developing new skills, promoting technology, etc. The District Industry Centers (DICs). It was launched in 1978. It provides services and support to establish small industrial and village units at district level. Incentives to promote industrial development in backward regions of the country. The government has offered various incentives to attract industries. They are land with flexible payment of rent, water and power at concession rates, reduced sales tax, priority in allocating raw materials, finance at subsidized rates. Summary let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The small industries have increased the income levels of the rural people. They may be defined based on their size, capital invested, etc. But in India, they are defined based on the capital invested. They are Manufacturing The Act defines three types of manufacturing enterprises. 1. Micro Enterprise Capital investment not more than 25 lakh rupees. 2. Small enterprise. Capital investment more than 25 lakh but less than 5 crore rupees. 3. Medium enterprise. Capital investment more than 5 crore but less than 10 crore rupees. Services. 1. Micro enterprise. Capital investment not more than 10 lakh rupees. 2. Small Enterprise Capital Investment More than 10 lakh but less than 2 crore rupees. 3. Medium Enterprise Capital Investment More than 2 crore but less than 5 crore rupees. The Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Ministry is the nodal ministry for policy formulation and providing development assistance to small-scale industries, SSI, in the country. Role of Small Business in India They are the second largest employer in the country and generate more employment than large industries on per unit of capital invested. They produce a large variety of goods, ranging from consumables to pharmaceuticals. Handlooms and handicrafts produced are of high export value. They provide for a balanced regional development in the country as they are easy to set up and uses locally available resources. They enable regional industrialization. Generate immense entrepreneurial opportunities. And many more. Role of small business in rural India. They are playing important role in generating employment in rural areas, especially for artisans and weaker sections of the society. It helps in preventing migration of people from rural to urban areas for seeking employment. Problems of small business Finance Raw materials Managerial skills Labor Marketing Quality Capacity Utilization Technology Sickness Global Competition Government Assistance to Small Industries and Small Industrial Units National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NEBARD The Rural Small Business Development Center, RSBDC National Small Industries Corporation, NSIC Small Industries Development Bank SIDBI, the National Commission for Enterprises in the Unorganized Sector, NCEUS, Rural and Women Entrepreneurship Development, RWED, World Association for Small and Medium Enterprises, 
WASME Scheme of Fund for Regeneration of Traditional Industries SFURTI The District Industries Centers DICs 